Hello, this is Saki from Saki Tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable OS X El Capitan USB flash drive using your Mac. This is a very simple and easy procedure, and it will be a walk in the park. Now, just so you know, your USB flash drive will have to be a minimum of 8 gigabytes. Secondly, you have to make sure that you have a downloaded copy of OS XL Capitan installer. So the very first step is to make sure you have it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the applications folder and show you guys if it is in fact there. So let's go to my finder, simply navigate to applications, and look to see if you have this file sitting right over there, install OS XL Capitan. Now let's say you don't have it. Then what you do is you go to the App Store right over here, and you go to purchased and you look for OS XL Capitan right over here and over here it's going to have the option to download just like it says right over here at the bottom okay so over here you're gonna click that download it's a big file it's gonna take a while and once it downloads it's gonna go straight into this folder once you have this this is going to be a very easy procedure so let's dive right in so at this point, I want you guys to plug in your USB flash drive into the USB port and then go to Applications and then scroll down to where it says Utilities and then click on Disk Utility. You can also just click Search over here on the top and search for Disk Utility. So let's go back here and here is the jump drive that I put in. So you have to properly format this drive. So once you plug in the drive, it's going to show up right over here. You're going to go up here, you're going to click Erase, and then you're going to give this uh, volume a name. You can simply pick something as simple as El Capitan. The simpler, the better for now, and you'll see why in a minute. And then the format type is going to be OSX X Extended Journal, and you can keep this as it is if you see it. Okay, and then click Erase. And this is going to be a very quick procedure. Click Done. And that's all you have to do as far as the USB flash drive goes. Okay, so what we can do now is we can exit this window. And the next thing I want you guys to launch is the terminal. So click the search icon, type in Terminal, launch it, keep it right here. The next step is you're going to copy and paste a code which I'm going to provide. There's a link in the description below. It's going to take you to this website. On this website, I want you guys to copy this right over here and simply paste it into the terminal. So you go to Edit and you type in Paste. And the only thing I want you guys to make sure is that the phrase over here, El Capitan, matches exactly the name you gave your volume when we were formatting the USB flash drive. And it's probably going to show up right here on your desktop anyway. So as you can see, El Capitan matches this one right over here. You have to make sure this is 100% correct, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to work. It's a code. Uh, once you copy and paste it, you simply press Enter. It's going to ask you for your login password, which is the password you use to log into your MacBook if you have one. So let me type mine in. And as soon as you press enter, it's going to start the procedure. So you're going to see this thing right here, erasing disk, copying installer files to the disk. So the procedure is in process. Let me fast forward to the end. Okay, so it might take five or 10 minutes, but once the procedure is complete, this is exactly what you're going to see. Copy complete, copy complete, done. Already, So now you have a USB flash drive. It is bootable and it in fact has OS X L Capitan. And if you look over here, the name of the USB flash drive that is attached to the computer has changed to a proper name. Okay, so that's all you guys need to do. As always, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. Give this video a thumbs up and have a great day.